What is up guys? How's your day going? I hope it's going great. Today's video is on how to cycle a fish aquarium without fish, also known as a fishless cycle. So uh, this is kind of going to be somewhat of a side rant too, because I've been doing this for a hot second. I've been in the hobby for quite some time. I have three YouTube channels devoted to reviewing products, doing fish room tours, like literally everything you could think of. And if you're looking for my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, that's the name of it. We just hit 60,000 subscribers. Let's talk about this a little bit. Chances are you're looking to set up a fish aquarium from the start, right? And you're looking to cycle the aquarium because you did a little bit of research and that's good. And you are now looking on how to cycle a fish tank so that you can get it ready for fish. Am I correct? That is good on you. I appreciate that you're doing your research and it's good that you've come to this video because I wanna give just straightforward reality advice. So the number one way to cycle a fish aquarium without fish is to use fish food. So what you wanna do is get yourself a fish food. I have just like handfuls of products. Um, literally any fish food will work. So the idea here is you, you have set up a fish aquarium and you have your fish food. You've set up the gravel. Well, I guess you don't need gravel, the decorations, the filter, all the generic things that you need. Essentially, all you really need is the filter. So what we want to do with the fish aquarium is, and I'm going to explain to you how to do this. And then I'm going to give you my constructive advice, what I would do rather than this method, because I've set up hundreds of fish tanks and this method does work, but I don't consider it the best and it's not the route I use. So uh, after this, I will get to my advice. First of all, what we wanna do is just start dabbing a little bit of fish food. Just start by putting a pinch of fish food in your tank and do this maybe like once every four to five days because essentially what happens is this breaks down as waste. You're putting this and it, it breaks down as waste and then it builds ammonia in the water and then turns into nitrites and then nitrates, which uh, starts to create this beneficial bacteria, essentially an ecosystem in your fish aquarium. After all, that is what we wanna be doing here is we wanna set up an ecosystem. What, what, what we have to do here is build that beneficial bacteria that builds on your filter pad. And that's what we're doing here. It goes. This, the fish food decays into ammonia, nitrates, and then nitrates. And what, what, how you will know your tank is cycled is you use your testing kit um, or test strips, whichever you want to use. And when you start reading nitrates in your water, nitrate levels, your tank is fully cycled. That is a, that is a quick guide on how to do it. Would I do it that way? The answer is no. What I would do and this is the methodology we use in setting up all these aquariums. When I set up all these tanks, guys, showcase the vacuum down here. That lets you know I'm poor because I don't. I have a really bad vacuum. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just stupid. Um, so what I do, I set up a fish aquarium, right? And I always put plants in it right away. What's what's key with my new setups is floating plants. Get yourself a decent light. Um, what I always do in my new setups, I get plants. Even if they're planted in the substrate or they're floaters, plants are the key because what happens here is what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a couple of fish in there. I highly advise maybe you get a couple small fish, maybe like some platies, guppies. I prefer guppies because they're indestructible. And what's gonna happen here is the water is going to fluctuate uh, because what's happening is the fish is giving off a tiny bit of waste. In sense, it's the same as us putting that little food in there. We need a little bit of waste inside the aquarium. And what that does is it starts that cycle. And uh, what's nice is you can have fish in the tank. This is actually a fish in cycle, but I feel like when you have floating plants and the plants inside there, it's a much more natural way to do it and get yourself a decent light. So many people like get these little chintzy lights. It bothers the heck out of me. I get so many messages. My plants won't grow. Uh, like what's going on? Because they have like a little tiny light like this. This is like this cheap uh, light you get on Wish for like five, six bucks. You gotta spend some money. Get yourself a 20 to $30 aquarium plant light. You're gonna, trust me, it's gonna make the biggest difference in the world. If you spend, money on anything, 
have it be your light and use plants because plants it's mother nature's way of of doing all of this we're trying to create an ecosystem in these aquariums and you're gonna do it without plants good luck brother because it's it, it look at this like you need plants for your fish tanks to excel and i get it are you trying to do just like a simple uh spongebob setup i just deep exhale uh just get some plants and do it the right way the beautiful way like look at this you want this greenery in your life i promise you so a fish in cycle is the route i would go except the key here is to start really small you know get yourself your filter and when i say small start with a small fish use one or two guppies and uh let the guppies do it do the work for you because they're gonna get i gotta take a deep breath guys what they're gonna do is they're gonna put off a small bio load and that essentially is the ammonia and it's the same it's the same process as this except it's easier because the ecosystem is started is creating itself around actual fish what what a lot of people screw up is they go and buy like seven or eight fish and throw it in a tank and it's too much ammonia at once the idea would work essentially but too much ammonia starts to burn the fish's gill plates and it puts them under stress and a lot of times they die. So that's when you need to start small. One or two guppies, get yourself a filter, a sponge filter, and within a month's time, you should have a cycle. And when you start reading nitrates on your test kit, um, you're gonna have a cycle. A lot of times I tell people, if you start with one or two fish, you don't even need a test kit. Just trust me on this. Get some plants, tiny fish, start small, get a decent light, because the plants are gonna take over. Plants, plants love ammonia. A lot of people don't know that, especially floating plants. Duckweed, get on your marketplace, your local mar marketplace, get some duckweed, get some water spangles, get something that's really indestructible. Um, here, check out this sweet floating plant here. This is a red root floater. Super, super cool, right? And that's all we did, it was just a basic plant light. And guys, if I'm being honest with you, I don't even change water here in the house. I change water in these tanks maybe like once every six months, maybe. And that's because plants, plants are the savior here. Guys, I'm kind of getting into a rant here, but hopefully this video helped you learn how to cycle a fish aquarium without fish. Hopefully my advice is helpful, sort of a rant, but I get so many questions on this that I just had to do this video so that I can send it to people. So without further ado, feel free to join my Facebook groups. I have a bunch of huge Facebook groups, uh, Beta Fish Keepers, we have 140,000 members. Uh, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to Palmer Aquatics. Oh, I can't even breathe right now, guys. Hit me up in the comments, I wanna hear from you.